League of Lesh. The League of Lesh Albanian, Ligia e Lesh, or also commonly referred to as the Albanian League Albanian. Ligia S.H. Kipter or Ligia Arboror was a military and diplomatic alliance of Albanian feudal lords forged in Lesh on 2 March 1444. The League of Lesh is considered as the first unified independent Albanian country in the medieval age, with Skanderbeg birth, named G. George Castrioti as leader of the regional Albanian chieftains and nobles united against the Ottoman Empire. Skanderbeg was proclaimed chief of the League of the Albanian People, while Skanderbeg always signed himself as Dominus Albanii Albanian, sought I arborize English, Lord of Albania. The main members of the League were the Arianiti, Balsha, Zaharia, Muzaka, Spanithopia, and Siarnojvisai. The members contributed to the League with men and money, while Skanderbeg had no right to interfere with the affairs of their domains. All earlier and many modern historians accepted Marin Barletti's news about this meeting in Lege without giving it equal weight, although no contemporary Venetian document mentions it. Barletti referred to the meeting as the Generales Concilium or Universum Concilium General Council or Whole Council. The term League of Lege was coined by subsequent historians. Background. The death of Serbian Emperor Stefan Dusan in 1355, the magnates in Albania established their own dominions. When Ottoman forces entered Albania, they were faced with small principalities that were engaged in vicious fights among themselves. The first battle against the Ottoman forces in Albania was that of Balsar Roman II, the Lord of Zeta, when one of the Albanian rulers, Carlo Thopia, invited Ottomans who defeated and killed Balsar Roman II in the Battle of Savra, which happened on 18 September 1385. In the 15th century, the Ottoman Empire established itself in the Balkans with no significant resistance offered by local Christian nobles. Many of them were still fighting amongst themselves and didn't see the Ottoman advance as a threat to their power. Although a civil war broke out between Bayezidai's sons in 1402-13, none of the Christian noblemen in the Balkans at the time seized the opportunity to repel the Ottomans. On the contrary, Bulgarians, Serbs and Hungarians even helped the future Sultan Mehmed I seize power, by participating as his allies in the final battle against his brother. After the Ottoman civil war was over in favor of Mayimd I, his forces captured Kruja from the Thopia in 1415, Birat in 1417 from the Muzaka, Vilora and Kanina in 1417 from the widow of Balsar Roman III and Gigiuricaster in 1418 from the Zenovisi. Under pressure from the Ottoman Empire and the Republic of Venice, the Albanian principalities began to vacillate. Some Albanian nobility revolted in 1432-36. In November 1443, Skanderbeg captured Kruja with his troops and declared its independence from the Sultan. Formation The League of Lege was founded on 2 March 1444 by Leek Saharia, Lord of Sati and Dagnum, and his vassals Pal and Nicholas, Duke and Genie. P. Jetter Spani, Lord of the Mountains behind Drivasto. Leek Dushmani, Lord of Minor Pult. G. George Strez, John and Gajko Balsha, Lords of Messiah, between Kruja and Lesh. Andrea Thopia, Lord of Scuria, between Tirana and Durs, with his nephew Tanush. G. George Arianiti. Theodore Corona Musaka. Stefan Siarnojvic, Lord of Upper Zeta, delegates from Venice were present at the meeting. The military alliance was made up of the feudal lords in Albania, who had to contribute to the League with men and money. Skanderbeg was proclaimed chief of the League of the Albanian people. Thus, he was the League's leader and commander-in-chief of its combined armed forces, numbering 8,000 warriors. 
All the territorial lords had their own domains and affairs. Skanderbeg had no right to interfere with the affairs of the domains of other nobles, acting only as the supreme military leader as Primus inter pairs. Barletti referred to the meeting as the Generales Concilium or Universum Concilium General Council or Whole Council. The term League of Lege was coined by subsequent historians. Initiated and organized under Venetian patronage, through treaties, the League was put under King Alfonso V, with Skanderbeg as Captain General. History The League's forces had victories against the Ottomans at Torvile 1444, Makra 1445, Atonit 1446, Orenic 1448, a loss at Svetograd 1448, victory in Palag 1453, victory at Kruge 1450, Alvilina 1457, Orid 1464, Makra 1462, and many others. Skanderbeg's first big victory against the Ottomans was at the Battle of Torvile. The news of the victory of the Christians over the Muslims spread very quickly in Europe. In the two years that followed, the Albanian Tetan coalition won over the Ottomans. On May 14, 1450, the first siege of Kruja began, which the Ottomans had to end the following year without success. In 1451, Skanderbeg formed an alliance with the Kingdom of Naples for the time being, however, the Albanians received no help from there. In 1452, the Ottomans were defeated at Makra and Mekedi. After the fall of Constantinople, Albanians received financial aid from Naples and Venice as well as from the Pope. Until 1462, Skanderbeg's troops were able to defeat the Ottomans every year without significantly weakening their superiority. Every year the Sultan was able to send a new army without difficulty. Only in 1460 and 1463 did ceasefires interrupt the fighting. In 1462, Skanderbeg succeeded in taking the important city of Ored. In 1466, the second siege of Kruge Castle was knocked down. However, the Ottomans founded the fortress Elbasan south in the valley of the Sachkumbin, and thus finally settled in Albania. In 1467, a third siege of Kruge failed. By 1468, the 10,000 strong Skanderbeg army could withstand the Ottomans. The Albanians received financial support from Venice and from the kings of Hungary and Naples. After Skanderbeg died in 1468, the Leisure League began to disintegrate. Following the Venetians, the northern Albanians in particular continued the fight against the Ottomans. When the S.H. Kadra, which until then had been dominated by the Venetians, was taken by the Ottomans in 1479, the resistance collapsed and the entire Albanian settlement area was incorporated into the Ottoman Empire. There was also a short war between Albania and Venice in 1447-1448, but on 4 October 1448, the Albanian-Venetian war ended when Skanderbeg and Nicholas Dukagini signed a peace treaty with Venice, which would keep its possessions in Albania, including Dagnum, under the conditions that Venice pay a yearly sum of 1,400 ducats, and that some League members would benefit from certain trade privileges, etc. Dissolution and Aftermath The alliance was precarious. Though an official date of dissolution is unknown, the League of Lege fragmented soon after its founding, with many of its members breaking away. By 1450, it had certainly ceased to function as originally intended, and only the core of the alliance under Skanderbeg and Arianiti continued to fight against the Ottomans. Some members preferred to act in line with their own interests. During the attack of the Sultan in 1450, they kept changing their position between supporting the Ottomans and joining Skanderbeg. After P. Jeter Spani and G. George Dushmani left the alliance, and after the Arianiti and Dukagini left it in 1450, members of Dukagini family concluded peace with the Ottoman Empire 
and even began to plot against Skanderbeg. Skanderbeg commanders, G. George Arianiti, Nicholas Dupagini, passed to the Ottomans in 1457. Pal Roman III Dukagini passed to the Ottomans in 1457. Moisi Arianit Golmi passed to the Ottomans in 1457. Hamza Castrioti, Skanderbeg's nephew, passed to the Ottomans in 1457. Vladin Jurica, General Quartermaster Skanderbeg's. Virana Conti, Peter Perlatai, Marin Spani, Andrea Thopia. Karl Muzak Thopia, Tanush Thopia, Ajdin Muzaka for 25 years, from 1443-68, Skanderbeg's 10,000-man army marched through Ottoman territory winning against consistently larger and better supplied Ottoman forces. Threatened by Ottoman advances in their homeland, Hungary, and later Naples and Venice their former enemies provided the financial backbone, and support for Skanderbeg's army. After Skanderbeg's death in 1468, the Sultan easily subdued Albania, but Skanderbeg's death did not end the struggle for independence. Legacy The League of Lege was the basis for an Albanian state. The formation of the League meant that for the first time Albania was united under an Albanian leader. Some historians regard the League as an independent Albanian state. Others do not accept this view, saying that it was only a military League. However, the League provided the basic elements of Albanian unity. Skanderbeg and the League of Lege have become part of Albanian historiography. That period of history, categorized as a pre-communist time, is seen by many as mythical and unchallengeable. In these cases, struggles against Ottoman and other foreign powers and processes of national self-definition support the ideological framework linked with that period.